Okay, this is one of those ones that's just recorded as it is. Um, I'm talking about changes as we get older. Uh, here are some life lessons that I've picked up on my life journey. Do stay until the end so that you can benefit from all of them. I'm using one of my outreach classrooms as my base for this one, so apologies for the lighting. And um, I'm recording it during my morning break. So it's a one take and hopefully no interruptions. Firstly, after spending a lifetime loving my wife, children, and now grandchildren, and my close friendship group, I finally started loving myself. This didn't come easily, and I had to make sure that it wasn't to the detriment of the love that I was already sharing. I realised that I'm not Atlas, and the world doesn't rest on my shoulders. I no longer haggle over prices. A few extra pennies won't hurt me, but it might help the shop business owner uh, save for their daughter or son's school or university fees. I always leave my waiter or waitress a generous tip. That little extra might bring a smile to their face as they work hard for their living and can experience a lot of negativity during their day. I stop telling the elderly that they have repeated that story. It allows them to relive their precious memories. I'm probably starting to repeat a few of them on my own by now, so I hope others are equally patient with me. I no longer find the need to correct people, even when I know that they're wrong. It's not my job to make everyone perfect. Peace is far more valuable than perfection. I freely give compliments. They lift the mood of both the giver and the receiver. And remember, if you receive a compliment, Never turn it down. Just say thank you. A crease or a spot on my shirt. I don't sweat it anymore. Personality speaks louder than appearances. This is a tough one for me as I have a bad habit of splashing sauces on shirts, particularly if I might like it in Indian or something like that. And Jacqueline invariably has to undertake a battle to save the shirt. I've learned to walk away from people who don't value me. And also to take them totally out of my friend group or circle of people who I associate with. They may not know my worth, but I do. I stay calm when others try to outrun me in life's rat race. I'm not a rat and I'm not racing. I'm no longer embarrassed by my emotions. They make me human. And one of the things I, I do do quite a bit is I'm a great hugger. I, I love to embrace people when I meet them. And I, I think that gives gives a certain positivity across to the, to the others who receive that. I've learned also that it's better to drop the ego than to break a relationship. Ego isolates, but relationships keep you connected. I live each day as it could be my last, because one day it just might be. And when you get to my age now, you're starting to think more about that and make the best of the time you have. And lastly, and importantly, I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm responsible for my happiness. And happiness is a choice. A choice you can make at any moment. I'm working with children at the moment on outreach and we're looking at good choices. And the overarching focus is... You are who you choose to be. It's a lesson that lots of adults never learn and they go through life blaming circumstances and others for things that happen to them or situations that they find themselves in when it's their own choices that got them to that point. I'm 63 as I make this video and I've been trying to practice these lifestyle lessons as best I can for quite a while now. But you don't have to wait until you're 60, 70 or 80 to start living this way. Let's practice these lessons now, at any age. Which of these life lessons do you think is the hardest for you? Let me know in the comments. Take care until the next time, and bye for now.